fourth most people there. Unless they're heavily. Ah, <coughs> Sorry. I'm so sorry. Penetrated. And I get 25-2. That was like a tier 7 game because it was a Tiger and a T25-2 and they're both tier 7. So I'm assuming it was a tier 7 game, which is great fun when you're a tier 5. It really is. Right, onto the RAM. We're speeding through these games now. Probably just because I'm getting so... Ooh, whatever, shut up. <coughs> Lakeville. Really, these maps are just popping up. As long as I don't get right Dragon Ridge and I'll be fine. Oh. I have not. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. Literally, should I talk about the new tank that's come onto the scene? The T52, not the T52, the T52. I have to say it like that. When I'm telling anybody, when I told us. Because if you you can't call it a T fifty two, but people will think it's but it's a T fifty dash two, which is dumb. What what am I doing? About me not. But that's just me. So, its main asset, well, it's, it's speed and maneuverability. It doesn't have. I'll tell you the stats. Let's go. I can have a to show you um anyway so the uh power is 500 uh speed limit is seven kilometers an hour shall i do hold what are tanks um tank review really than in ages. Let's do it. Shadows and Killers. Welcome to a tank review. Killer 316. Today we're going to be looking at the T. Start off with. Need to kill this T25. Die from this. Oh, he missed me. And Bounced. I keep on bouncing. And he bounced off me. That's, that's and and right. And the leak. The uh, what do we get up to? Start reverse speed is the um oh no the pull traverse speed is thirty eight degrees per second. The turret traverse speed is forty five degrees per second. Um the armor isn't isn't really all that special. It's thirty seven at the side. Pull armor is thirty seven at the front side and rear. And uh, on the turret armor, it's 45 at the front and then 40 at the side and rear of the tank. Uh, 
armament it has a 57 millimeter uh the ammunition it has 76 uh rounds it, it does between 64 and uh 106 uh damage per shot uh, it's an armor, it has an armor penetration value of between 84 or roughly between 84 and 140 millimeters of penetration and has a rate of fire of 20.69 um, rounds per minute and finally it has a view range of 370 uh, it has a M17E engine as obviously the T52M turret as t uh, 57 millimeter gun Ziz four and obviously the T52M um tracks <coughs> as you probably know it's Soviet it's a light tank it's tier six now <coughs> do excuse me I'm dying here um cost you like the standard for it is thousand eight hundred and fifty gold but at the moment, it will cost you 200 gold. The uh, box, um, the load limit, or the stack, that but the balls and equipment, the high amount of weight that. It so pretty like as a suggests and let's go origins of the um uh, oh Jesus Hey really making you have to be to me, don't you? You really Horrible to me. <coughs> My voice. Kill myself in a minute. Got it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, were the of the team by construction brewer. Cur off plant in Lenin. That's the. Well, thanks. I haven't done really. For that matter. I missed and I'm dead. You're gonna ram the. Fourth Panzer. Panzer Panther. We bounced. No, the Clarence Pan uh, Panzer Panther or the Orc. The design was introduced by the Kurov plant was not was more difficult to implement than obviously other vehicles at the time. The features of the vehicle were its hull shape and its horseshoe horseshoe shaped radiator. As you can see on the tank it has kind of a round shape at the front. But if you have a picture of it, you'll see where it comes around. It's not like a rounded horseshoe, not like that. The, the Russians didn't really have that equipment at the time to do that. But you can see kind of the horseshoe shape as such uh, on the tracks. But yeah. Too. I don't know what else to say about it. I don't really know all that much. Let's go on Wikipedia. Right, T50. Global wiki. Don't we on the global wiki? Let's have some retired at the moment, the T fifty two. But let's compare it with the uh, US Chaffee.
uh, I don't even know. So the Chaffee is one tier lower than um, the 50 Mark II. And then higher speed limit, higher speed limit back, higher so reverse speed. Chaffee has 90. Uh, the obviously the T fifty two T fifty two that T fifty two has seventy two speed limit backward in reverse and forty for the chaffee. Uh, the health of the T fifty two. Um, double the signal. Well, yeah, double plus a hundred. The signal. Chaffee costs nothing. Wait, even I don't, know, I don't know. like T fifty that is on sale at the moment. It Maybe I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. Is my drive tank? It doesn't work. You really do it after this. I'm gonna a drink because I'm literally gonna die. <coughs> what? Why are hills? I know I can't climb. Uh, D34. Help. Did some damage. Line shot. If I had another one missed. Oh yeah, and Jesus. Okay, let's round and then we'll try and see if we can think in shots as they try to the base. Otherwise, if they don't, he's not gonna die. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Now they're gonna try and make a key line for the base. Ow! Okay. I'm spotted, so they no, they're not gonna make a key line. Yep, they are. Mind. Right, let's just do a comparison. Uh, the TOG to S, get the M6. Um, so, what we got next? T14, finally onto the heavies. Now. So. Um, the TOG is better priced, betterly priced, better, more cheap than, uh, in the equivalent to, from silver to gold, it is cheaper than the, T than the M6. So we have the TOG and the M6 here. Uh, the TOG has, uh, 1,400 health and the T1 Heavy has, uh, 770 the TOG has a better signal range. <laughs> the TOG has a better, sig better signal range. It has a signal range of 570. And the T1 Heavy has a signal range of 395 meters. Obviously the T1 Heavy is going to be faster than the TOG. Uh, T1 Heavy is 35 kilometers an hour. And obviously the TOG is 7 kilometers an hour. And going backwards the TOG is actually faster. I think. Yeah, the TOG is faster going backwards. Yeah, seven kilometers to per hour. Anyway, the low limit. Uh, five 